Today, we are engaged in a new struggle. The challenge, quite obviously, is great, but no greater than other challenges that our nation has faced and overcome. I want to discuss how we can build on that tradition and continue to keep our nation and its people safe. It is a strategy that rests on the use of four crucial tools. Strength, development, democracy, and fiscal discipline. First, Democrats, as I said, have aggressively stepped up the fight against terrorists. We've strengthened America's military by funding its reequipment after years of war. And we have put new and better weapons into the battlefield. Secondly, though force is at times clearly necessary, and I've supported that, that use, we learned from the Cold War that force alone does not win ideological struggles. So a strong development policy must be a pillar of our national security. International development reflects our moral values and serves our economic interests. Poor and unstable countries make unreliable trading partners and weak markets for American goods and services. And we cannot exert global leadership while neglecting hunger, disease, and human misery. Thirdly, the Cold War taught us that democracy, human rights, economic freedom are the most powerful weapons in an ideological struggle. Today, we meet that objective when we understand that the world's democratic movements in nations from Egypt to Iran have a legitimacy that ought to be recognized, not restrained by their governments. We meet that objective when we support those movements publicly. We meet that objective when we recognize that our strongest alliances are those built not merely on our interest, but up on a foundation of common values. Fourth and finally, every one of these policies comes with a cost. Every choice rules out other choices. And I said fourth, but one of the things I left out in this speech that I wish I had put in that I will reference at this point in time, uh, but another critical component of our international security policy must be the pursuit of energy independence. With our publicly held debt reaching $9 trillion, defense spending can no longer and should not be exempt from the hard choices pressing on every part of our budgets. Arms alone do not win wars, particularly against an enemy that we will rarely, if ever, meet on the battlefield. Nations win wars. The skill of our intelligence officers, the vigilance of our first responders, the creativity of our development policy, the force of our universal values, the discipline of our policymakers, the will and consensus of the American people. They are all part of this struggle as well. They are all integral to our national security strategy, and we must use every part of that strategy wisely. Thank you very much.